His Highness Prince Karim Aga Khan arrives in Nairobi for the Takhtun Nashini celebrations being received at the airport by the Governor of Kenya, Sir Evelyn Baring and Lady Baring, various dignitaries and leaders of the Ismaili community, including Sir Ibu Pirbai and Wazir Jimmy Ahmed. His Highness is accompanied by his mother, Her Highness Princess Tajudola. Highness, accompanied by the scoutmaster, Mr. Chotu Sharif, he takes the guard of honor and meets various leaders of troops and guides and boy scouts. Various leaders, dignitaries, and members of the Ismaili community have, arrived, have come to the airport to receive His Highness the Aga Khan to Nairobi. Many of these members have been introduced to His Highness by the President of the Supreme Council for Africa, Sir Ibu Peba. It was an unforgettable scene and took place in one of the state rooms of Government House where the Aga Khan was guest of the Governor. The Ismaili leaders were seated as is their custom cross-legged in a semicircle around the young Imam, and the two factions elaborated their different points of view. To a non-Muslim, the arguments were difficult to follow, but it was clear that a strong difference of opinion existed, and that the Aga Khan would be called upon to resolve a ticklish point of theological doctrine. This was the first occasion on which he had been called to exercise the responsibilities bequeathed to him by his grandfather, Still an undergraduate at Howard, he looked very young, a trifle pale and tense as he listened to the rival claimants. There was a pause as they finished, then the Aga Khan asked a question, which obviously puzzled his followers. Who, he asked, will recite the verses you wish me to decide upon? A chorus of voices assured him that a young man from Zanzibar had been procured for the recitation, and that his fame as a Psalmodist of the Quran was acclaimed far and wide. If that is so, said His Highness, let this young man suggest those verses in which his ability is most outstanding, and thereafter I, I shall decide which particular chapters and verses will be selected. Highness arrives for an inspection of the arrangements and various accommodations made for dignitaries, guests, and members of the Ismaili community, including the elaborate arrangements and splendid throne for the dais. In animated discussion with leaders of the Ismaili community, His Highness discusses various finer points of the arrangements. Sir Ibu Pirbai and other members of the Jamaat, His Highness goes through all the arrangements. The Aga Khan Club grounds in Nairobi has indeed been a very fortunate piece of earth, a piece of soil that has witnessed on its very grounds very many historic and unique occasions during the imamate of the 48th Imam of the Shah Imami Ismailis and now marking the beginning of the imamate of the 49th Imam with the Takhtun Nashini celebrations. Sir Ibu introduces various members of the committee and various leaders of the Ismaili Jamaat of Nairobi and indeed of East Africa to Maulana Hazri Imam, His Highness Prince Karim Aga Khan. Flanked by Sir Ibu Pirbai and Count Abdullah Hashim Gandhi, His Highness inspects the grounds and various arrangements 
cause the factory machine in celebration. It is the supreme guide which has been guiding us towards that supreme experience, which in material words cannot be expressed. This experience and light has been aptly described in the Holy Quran, which states, Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. His light is a niche in which is a lamp, and the lamp is in a glass. The glass is as though it were a glittering star. It is lit from a blessed tree, an olive neither of the east nor of the west, the oil of which would well nigh give light, though no fire touched it. Light upon light, Allah guideth to his light whom he pleases, and Allah strikes out parables for man, and Allah all things doth know. Chapter 14, Light, verse 35. Smileys from all over Kenya and various parts of East Africa and indeed from as far away as South Africa in the southern tip of Africa have converged on Nairobi, the capital of Kenya, to witness this unique and historical occasion of the enthronement, the Takht Nashini, of the beloved 49th Imam, His Highness Prince Karim al Husseini Hazar Imam. They came by land, they came by bus. They came by sea, and they came by air. These various members of the Ismaili community to witness what will be a unique and outstanding occasion in the Imamat of the 49th Imam. efforts, the unique experience, and the knowledge of outstanding Ismaili leaders of Nairobi, of Kenya, of the whole of East Africa have been put to use here, and all faculties have been engineered to make this a most successful, a most happy, and a most joyous occasion in the history of the Ismailis of Nairobi and indeed of East Africa. Mr. Kara Sadio and Mr. Aladin Virji amongst the cooking group with members of the cooking committee who effort with tireless service and unstinting efforts throughout the seven to ten days of entertaining their guests from all over Africa towards this unique occasion. Guests and visitors and indeed members of this Nairobi Jamaat were fed for all those days, three meals a day. It was indeed a joyous and festive occasion, a memory that will be cherished for many a decade by all those who were present. of the Ismaili community, Mr. Akbar Ali Nanji, Mr. Madad Manji, Badru Ibu Pirbai, and various other social workers have been involved in these preparations. The Berkhana Jamaat Khana in Nairobi as always, is most splendidly and brilliantly lit up for this unique occasion. It is a highlight in the decoration of the city of Nairobi, along with the Jama Masjid, along with Government Road and Delamere Avenue, along with the Parklands Club Grounds, along with various other places in the city of Nairobi. There was jubilance all over, jubilant with the Ismailis of Nairobi, jubilant 
was the public of Nairobi. Jubilant was the citizenry of Kenya. Never before in British Kenya have members of the British public in Kenya witnessed such a unique occasion. Great day has arrived. It is the afternoon of the 22nd of October, 1957. Dignitaries, invited guests, leaders of government, leaders of the Ismaili community, and members of the Ismaili community pour in to the Parklands Club grounds, Nairobi, to witness the Takhti Nashini ceremony. <laughs> Present for past stalwart leaders of the Ismaili community, including Count Manji Jan Mahmud, past president of Nairobi Council, and passing around the grounds with the Karachi band playing the bagpipe music. <laughs> the story of the ancestors of His Highness Shah Karim Aga Khan, which extends over some 14 centuries, would make very fascinating reading if written at length. It begins in the holy city of Mecca in Arabia towards the end of the 6th century AD when the holy prophet laid the foundation of the religion of Islam. His most intimate friend and supporter, who was also his cousin, Hazrat Ali, son of Abu Talib, was married to his daughter Fatima. Hazrat Ali is regarded by the Shia Muslims as the first Imam to succeed the holy prophet. He held the throne of Imamat for four long decades and was succeeded by Hazrat Imam Hussein, whose name history has immortalized as the martyr of Karbala. The fifth Imam, Jafar al-Sadiq, was a well-known philosopher of great repute in the annals of Islamic history. Jafar al-Sadiq's successor was Imam Ismail, whose name has been used to designate his followers as Ismailis. various instruments and symbols of the, of the imamat, which will be presented at the Takht Nashini ceremony. The ring, the robe, the chain and the sword, which are to be presented to the imam, are all significant in the annals of Ismaili history. Arriving to witness the ceremony, I worship the mayor, accompanied by his wife, followed by a highness, the Beggar Maga Khan, accompanied by the governor, Sir Evelyn Baring. They are received on behalf of the Ismaili community by the President of the Supreme Council for Africa, Sayyibu Pirbai, the President, Wazir Jimmy Ahmed, and the Muki, Ramu Virgin. Immediately following Her Highness the Begum Aga Khan is His Serene Highness Prince Ali Salman Khan, who has arrived to witness the solemn ceremony of the enthronement of his beloved son, Prince Karim al Husseini Aga Khan, as the 49th Imam of the Shia Imami Ismaili. Our Highness the Begum Aga Khan, the Governor Sir Evelyn Baring, and Lady Baring are being greeted and received by Ismaili leaders and are now taking their seats in the front row. Dressed, dressed in ceremonial garb by Ismaili leaders, including Wazir Merali Ramji, Count Sari Bupirbhai. It is five o'clock sharp, and His Highness Karim al Husseini Aga Khan, the 49th Imam of the Ismailis, arrives for the enthronement ceremony. Received by 